Hello everyone, this is TSFan109 and welcome back to Let's Play Battle Kid, Fortress of Peril. So last video, I bait the final guardian and now have a max inventory. So before heading to the end of the game, it's time to go and do a little bit of extra optional content with this optional key we found. So I'm gonna warp to the uh, sky base entrance, I believe. Yeah, sky base entrance. And I have to redo the whole sky area all over again to get to this area. But with the additional feather fall and double jump, this should be a little easier. Yeah, I can skip quite a bit of stuff now. This will definitely remove a lot of headache and heartache. get to skip a lot of the challenges here. I don't think I'll be able to skip all of them, but... I don't even have to rely on this fan. I can just do that. Okay, still can't be an idiot here. But it's fine. That's easy. And with the feather fall, that's a breeze. Already through section one. Bingo. Unfortunately, can't make this part any easier. But, I'm comfortable with the game again. Oh, Ken! Just breeze through that now. Okay. Alright, there. That scared me. Very good. Alright, just let these guys pass by. Oh, whoa. Gotta be careful not to do that. <laughs> and unfortunately, the second section. Not too many ways to bypass the challenges. Not too many. <sighs> Darn shame. So this is nothing compared to what we're going to be dealing with. Oh, I hate that screen. It still gets me to this day. Just keep going, just keep going. Ugh, I hate this tower. Alright, good, very good. Alright. There. Hey, hey, I can shoot down this one, actually. Okay, so it is indeed five heads. That was scary. Alright, let's just do this, because I'm afraid to try any other tactic. There. Alright, there, that's section two done. Now the section three, the space section. Which I think this will only help so much, these additional abilities. Yes, hello to you too, Spikes. That doesn't mean I wanted to hug you. Alright.
All right. All right, there. I can ease up that part of it. How did I fall in there of all places? That's like the hardest area. That's like the hardest square to fail in that screen, and somehow it's the one I hit. After all this time, this still gets to me. All this time. Oh my, stop messing up! This isn't the hard part yet. We're not there. We will be, but we're not there yet. I'm gonna bother with this. And I almost fell in there again somehow. Ha! Alright, save. We're here. It's now time for the hardest part of the game. The very optional, very evil Gauntlet of Evil. This is going to be an insane gauntlet of rooms that we have to get through in order to get the double damage amp, which allows us to do double damage, which is what we start with in easy mode. So if you're in easy mode, this is a waste of your time. I don't think I'm going to beat it on this video, but let me at least re-familiarize myself with some of this. Oh, I gotta figure out the timing for this. You only have one go. As soon as you go in, you're locked. Alright. Go as soon as you hear the sound. What's next? A green color mancer. I had no time to prepare for that, and there's some locks I gotta shoot down as well. Alright. Very good, okay. Oh, uh, let me just kill him. I'll feel better going up here. So that's room three, this is room four. Slowly. Okay. This has to be perfect. That was perfect. Room five. Oh, that is very tight. Very tight. This is a very stressful thing to do. But I'll say this, it does make the last area of the game quite a bit easier, especially the bosses. The bosses can almost turn into a joke if you get this. Double damage am. <gasps> oh, sh shoot, I forgot to shoot down those locks. Ow. Go. Alright, very good. Okay, you can just run straight through and have time. Ah, oh, I got there at the wrong time. Alright. Oh, that was almost wrong time again. All 
right. I think it's 15 rooms you have to survive. Oh, <laughs> too early. All right. Go. All right. I'm getting the first four rooms down. Not that I remember the first four rooms being that hard. Alright. I did it again! I just panic. There's no room for error. And it's so punishing to get sent far back. Although I do remember the last room is an absolute breather. And it's almost impossible to die in. You see these skulls for the tile set? Just letting you know how evil this is. I didn't mean to go down just then. The second game has a gauntlet of evil too, although I don't remember if it was as difficult as this one. Despite Valky 2 generally being the harder game, maybe Civac decided the gauntlet of evil was too evil in the first one, told it out, but I just remember it being slightly easier. Although maybe it's just because the Valkyrie 2 is just a horror game in general, so the difficulty spike doesn't seem as noticeable. I don't know. It's been a while since I've done that one too. Very good. Oh, I was perfectly aligned. Room six. But I need to get back into the center very quickly there. I think that's what I did last time I bait this. Alright, good. Uh, went too far. That's not gonna work. Not here. <laughs> that was bad. Alright. This is the Kaizo level of Battle Kids. As you can clearly see. <laughs> It's not easy, at all. But I think I've gone through a third of it already by this point. It's very stressful to do that. Oh, I centered myself in time. Ugh, I didn't make it. Yeah, we're not getting this today. Of that, I'm pretty much sure about. Just want to see how far I can make it. Okay. Whew! Ugh. I don't know how I'm going to time this. Darn. Oh well. 
Run just makes perfect. Eventually, I'll learn it. Again, relearn it. Because I have baited this before, but it was a long time ago. And this part's definitely very difficult to get down. Ah! Uh. If you're doing impossible mode and such, I probably wouldn't recommend going this way. It would probably be easier just to finish the game without going here. Shoot. There. Alright. Ooh, that was close. I almost ran into those. Alright. I don't think that's the way I usually do it, but hey, I survived. Room 7. Ooh, that was close. Room 8. Hit that. I can hit that ball from here, so let's just do it from here. It's easier. Go. Alright, there we go. We're roughly halfway there right now, so that's good. Room 9. You've got to be joking. Okay, I still have a chance. Good. Room 10? Oh, absolutely not. You have so little time to do that. Ah! Oh! It hurts. It hurts so much. That was such a good run. <sighs> well, I still got time to keep trying, so let's keep trying. Alright, very good. Very good. Now then, let's just shoot this ball from here. Alright, very good. Alright. Okay, we're back. We're back. That's good. I feel so lucky to be alive. <laughs> good. No, too slow. Alright, good. Alright. We want to take this slow and kill these buffoons. They have a lot of health, but it'll be a lot easier to kill them from here than to kill them from over there. I don't know if it's even possible to kill them from there. There's so little room. I'll take this as slow as it takes. It's not easy to get this far. This is room 11, and there's like 15 rooms. But again, the last room is like a freebie. Okay.
next video, okay? Next video. Just next video. Until then, this has been TalesFan109, and have a nice day.